meeting for July 9th. Uh, first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Mark, would you lead us in the pledge, please? to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and you as with liberty and justice for all. Now, I feel equally. Uh, we do have a continuation of public hearing for the Whitestone incentive zoning. And at this time, would anybody like to speak on the Whitestone incentive zoning? Anybody online? Okay, we have a couple of resolutions later tonight and um, one extending it to our next meeting in July. Approval of the minutes for the town board meeting of June 26. Aye. Watch my mic, second by Steve. Comments, corrections, all in favor? Aye. 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 Privilege of the floor or public concerns? Any privilege of the floor or public concerns? Anybody online? Privilege of the floor or public concerns? Okay, hearing none, reports of standing committees, public works. Yeah, down to the wastewater treatment plant. Um, a lot of just ongoing stuff. North file clarifier panels. We're still waiting on quotes to replace some of those. The roof repair that we've been reporting for months. We're still waiting for the contractor, Elmer Davis, to come back and get those finished up. Um, the work on Digester 1, the um, two blockage, that work is scheduled for July 22nd. Still looking for quotes to do some sand filter work. Um, have some pumps that need new seals that we're just waiting on some quotes for. Pack chemical tank. We reported that was going to be clean. Uh, that work has been done and it is back online now. Some of our operators are working on five-year budget plan as we're starting to get into that cycle already. Um, five-year budget plans and then budget worksheets between the departments. They've been out doing routine lift station maintenance, oil changes, belts, things like that. Uh, also been out doing some cleaning of of various lift stations out in the systems. On the water side, we're up to 493 uh, meters that they can read remotely. And they're kind of going through now and working on a list to identify others that are old or still aren't reading. They have been out in Farnbrook Park actually doing excavating for our guided copper survey. That's something that'll be ongoing. Pressure X water line that has been installed. And actually, they were going to do pressure testing and chlorination today on that. And then they had a leak over on Turner Road that they were trying to prosecute. It's got two resolutions that we can go over with later in the agenda. Highway and Parks, uh, it wasn't there this morning, but we did get a report. Ongoing equipment maintenance is on every, every list. Obviously, roadside mowing during the summer. They've been out sweeping all the oil and stone roads and doing topsoil and grass seed on Canada Park and Cow Line, where the new sidewalks were put in. Uh, they had to clean up some brush over at the Grange. And they've had trucks helping Victor with, with millings the last couple of days. Um, also did a driveway pipe on Crowley Road and um, assisted the Parks Department with set up and clean up for a July 3rd fireworks here at the town. Parks, mowing, parks and trails, ball fields, striping ball fields, town park pavilion is out, picnic tables are out. I actually saw somebody out using the grill tonight. That was coming over. Um, and then July 3rd fireworks is on their agenda. And there's two two resolutions for highway and parks. We can talk about those when they come up. Thank you. Town operations. Town operations met. We have three resolutions. We can talk about them later. Uh, the work is continuing on the sidewalk grant pro project, and hopefully by October 31st, that'll be uh, complete. 
Uh, the contractor still needs to provide the town with a design for the new pedestrian bicycle bridge uh, coming over uh, Beaver Creek. The Town Ag Advisory Committee would continuing the discussion on the uh, changes in Chapter 165 of the zoning law. Uh, these uh, text amendments uh, propose overlay zoning district to be known as the ACOD, uh, Agriculture Conservation Overlay District, and we still got some things to iron out over over that. We have uh, our next meeting will be a little earlier. It'll be uh, actually later, but it'll be first week of, uh, in August, August 8th at 6.30 at Town Hall. Uh, the first meeting of the uh, Parks and Recreation Update Committee was held Monday, and uh, the next one will be August 5th. Um, town Operations Committee report is all posted on the town website. As I said, we have three resolutions we can go over later on. Can we add to that? Thank you, Mike. Uh, reports to town officials. Um, we do have, a, as a reminder to the board, we have a finance committee meeting July 16th here at 8 30. Um, fireworks, uh, the weather held for our July 3rd fireworks. We had a great crowd, uh, band playing for over two hours, plenty of vendors, and a great ending to the fireworks. Um, I also want to thank the Farmington Chamber of Commerce again for their continued donation of $1,500 towards the cost of the fireworks. Our 2025 budget, departments have received their five-year capital equipment facility list, and those sheets uh, should be returned this week. The budget worksheets will go out soon by department and for them to formulate their budget. On or about September 6, I will file the tentative budget for the town board's consideration. At Ontario County, uh, Friday, June 28th, I attended a day-long discussion with all the other supervisors on the Ontario County landfill. It's planned closure in 2028. What would be the options for city, towns, and villages? The closure of the landfill could double the residents' costs for disposal of garbage and recyclables. Also, the county clerk has put forward a proposal to reactivate the DMV office in Geneva and possibly a mobile DMV for the west and south towns in the county. Uh, more on that to come. Also, at this time, I'd like to recognize Michelle Finley, our town clerk. Uh, we got a letter dated June 30th from the New York State Town Clerks Association and she has been recertified as a registered municipal clerk. So congratulations, Michelle. That's all I have. Uh, nobody for Highway and Parks tonight? Town clerk. Nothing. Nothing. Water and sewer. We received our um, belt exerciser trailer and back truck or vacuum thing. And the boys were out training on it today and it's nice, all hydraulically operated. And, well, even the tools, instead of the chop saws being gas powered, it's got a hydraulically operated chop saw. And the nice thing is now we'll find out more valves that don't work that will have to be replaced because they haven't been exercised in a while. Yep. Always work to do. Uh, building and zone, zoning, Augie. Uh, so a couple things that were discussed this morning. Uh, we discussed the uh, June stats for the building department. So we did 107 total permits for that month, 259 inspections, which included 12 fire inspections, 21 inspections between stormwater and zoning, um, which included a lot of tall grass complaints um, due to the time of year. And we discussed the statistics for the subdivisions that are ongoing in the town. Um, so Monarch Manor at this point has six dwellings under construction. Um, as I reported last meeting, Auburn Meadows is completed. Um, aside from final walkthroughs and punchless, Hathaway's Corners now has two additional CMOs for apartment buildings. So that is building 200, 100, 500, and 600. Um, the villas have four units under construction, and then single family is 10 units under construction. Um, as of tomorrow, we will have a new hire in our office that's filling an administrative role. Um, so she, again, she starts tomorrow morning and 
uh, we'll start training with Carol, myself, and Ron, uh, and try to get her up to speed. The records have all been received uh, from the high for highway and assessors uh, stuff that we was sent out several months ago. So that's all ninety three boxes are at the courthouse at this point, and the hard drive is here at town hall. Um, still working on some grass violations. There's about five total in the town at this point. And we have some res a couple of resolutions on for tonight for mobile home communities. That's all I got. Great. Thanks, Augie. Planning board, Ed. Currently, we got a busy meeting. Um, we're going to do Fowler again, um, continue public hearing, to sell the four solar project uh, applications, as well as uh, Deborah Potter, two lot final subdivision flat, the 1816 Quaker Meeting House Museum, preliminary site plan, and special use permit, the De Hollander final subdivision flat, and Fintel Crossing to a final subdivision plan and a preliminary site plan, along with a couple of letters of credit. So we ought to be bringing our jammies to that meeting. Be a busy one. Yeah. Director of Planning and Development, Ron. I get ready to scramp whenever I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> the town ops report was uh, posted today on the town website. The sidewalk project continues. They uh, have discovered that there are some trees in the alignment over there on Mertensia Road that they're going to have to uh, <clears throat> chip out. They can't risk digging them out because of the proximity to a gas line. So uh, they're working on that. They start pouring concrete again on County Road 41 between uh, the site there of uh, Marano's model home all the way west to the almost to the Red Barn. They put a drop inlet for the Red Barn and pipe to the stormwater. So they're pro progressing. Um, the only thing of concern is we still don't have the design specifications for the pedestrian bridge crossing. And the lead time on that looks as though it's going to take them past the October 31st uh, completion date. So we've encouraged them to continue and not worry about that. Let's get the sidewalks in. We can deal with the bridge when it comes up. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Ron. Town engineer, Bill. Yep, just a couple of things. Um, Brickyard Road Tank Project is progressing. Um, did stop by there. They have the pad around the shafts. Um, all set with stone. So it looks like they're ready to go. The forms and stuff are there. They haven't started forming the shafts, but it looks like they're pretty much prepared to do so. So um, digester clean and close outs on for tonight. Collette Road and Retensia um, water main replacement project. We have a pre bid scheduled for the 22nd and bid opening on the 31st. So we'll be reaching out to contractors for that project. Uh, that'll be the next one on the docket um, and working on Cranberry Drive and getting that design ready to get out to bid. So, um, and Grove Park, obviously ongoing right now. Great, good. Thank you. Uh, the assessor is not here tonight, but she wanted to let everybody know that the final tax roll was posted on the website today underneath the assessor tab. Recreation. Mark, welcome. Uh, recreation is uh, up and running. We're in day five here. Um, first week, we averaged about 265 uh, campers uh, per day. Uh, that's up about uh, 30 from last year. Uh, and we're off and running very similar uh, to this week. Our first uh, field trip is starts tomorrow. We have a boot camp uh, optical course coming. You're more than welcome to uh, give it a give it a run. Be at Beaver Creek at one o'clock. We may be fighting the elements uh, tomorrow at that time, uh, but we're 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 going. And uh, you know, July third fireworks. Uh, I think were a great success. We had uh, uh, eighteen of the recreation staff help with parking, and you know, the parking and leaving 
as always, you guys do a great job up front. And within, I think, 30 minutes, we are pretty much clear. It was a lot faster this year. It was a lot faster this year. Thank you for having the officers at uh, um, eight and Colette and up at 96. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. And the vendors, uh, vendors did well. Um, they were busy all night. And uh, I've reached out to them to, uh, you know, uh, for their donation uh, to the program. So we'll start getting those in. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Visor, nobody here tonight. Communications are on file. Reports and minutes are on file. First resolution is authorizing Tracy Curry, our clerk, to attend the New York State AMCC 44th Annual Conference, September 29th to October 3rd in Niagara Falls. It costs not to exceed $790. Second. Wish my name, second my mic. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here's a resolution authorizing the town supervisor to accept a proposal from public sector HR consultants for employee handbook updates at a cost not to exceed $2,250. So moved. Second. Wish my Steve, second my Ron. Um, this is the update, or I think it's 2021 or 2022 employee handbook. And this will cover the majority of the federal and state regu yeah. regulations that have been updated. All in favor? Aye. 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 Read the resolution authorizing acceptance of the monthly report for the supervisor in June 24. So moved. Second. Wish my money, second my Steve. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Board's a resolution authorizing the town board to approve a close out paperwork of the wastewater treatment plant digester tube cleaning project. So moved. Second. Motion by Ron and second by Nate. And we did have a, a budget overrun on that, but it is what it is. All in favor? Aye. 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 Why is the re resolution operating the renewal of operating permits for the Farmington Manufacturer Home? Oh, second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Six, resolution operating the renewal of operating permits for Woodlawn Fort Manufacturer Home. Second. Which may Steve sent me around. All in favor? Aye. 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 That was a resolution authorizing the renewal of operating permits for Hunts Manufactured Home Community. So, second. I move my mic, second my name. Any questions here? All in favor? Aye. 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 It's a resolution establishing a penalty date for all unpaid 2024 second quarter accounts located within the Canandaigua Farmington Water District and the Victor Sewer District. And that date is Thursday. October 1st, 2024. August. Wish my name, Ron, second my name. But August is August. It's August. It's August, yeah. August 1st. Yeah, okay. Resolution's great. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ninth resolution accepting parts two and three of the full environmental assessment form for the Whitestone Incentive Rezoning Action. So moved. Second. Wish my money. Check my run. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 And two nays. And resolution authorizing the termination of significance under the provisions of the state environmental quality <coughs> review regulations for the rezoning tax map number 41.07-1-28, 36.3 acres. 41.07-1-28.21-28.8 acres from PD plan development, Glacier Lakes Water Park plan development project, and MTOD major thoroughfare overlay district to IZ incentive zoning. This is the Whitestone project and MTOD major or thoroughfare overlay district. So moved. Wish my money, second my Ron. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
Levin's resolution authorizes continuing the public hearing upon the White Stone Incentive rezoning that we uh, continue to our July 3rd, 2024. Second. Motion by Steve. Second by Amy. Is it eight? By Ron. By Ron. Say again. You said July third. Is that July third? July twenty third. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Twelve is a resolution authorizing a budget amendment transferring money from highway general repairs via seasonal to highway general repairs. The amount of $13,900 from highway snow removal to highway general repairs, and the amount of $75,000. So, second. Where's my name? Second by Steve. Any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 13 confirming resolution authorizing the payment of J to JD Rogers Electric in the amount of $3,740.70 for electrical work at the Town Park Pavilion. So, second. By Mike, second by Ron. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 14 is a resolution authorizing acceptance of donations. Oh, second. Motion by Nate, second by Steve. And these are, again, for the donations uh, totaling $600 to date um, from the fireworks uh, vendors. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 15 is a resolution authorizing the quote for Coliseum Industries for gearbox upgrades for their belt press at a cost not to exceed $11,250. So, second. And again, there were two service quotes, and the third vendor did not vote for the project. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thirteen is uh, approving the abstract. Thirteen, yeah, sixteen is approving the abstract. Thirteen of twenty twenty four to pay the bills. General fund thirty nine thousand seven hundred seventy five dollars and seven cents. Highway fund one hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred sixty two dollars and forty seven cents. Sidewalk capital project two hundred nineteen thousand six hundred twenty two dollars and thirteen cents. Town park improvements. $67,285.25. Town line capital project, $38,361.60. Storm drainage, $208.61. Sewer district, $323,202.29. Water district, $162,375.69. Payroll deductions, $45,407.96. For total abstract, pay the bills, $1,335,201.07. You have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion by Mike, second by Steve. Any extensions? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, we do have uh, no training under 100. We do have one request uh, to waive the penalty. The address is 1559 Maxwell Road. Uh, if you remember from previous meetings, we had customers who relied on Chase Bank to draw the money out of their account and pay their water or water and sewer bills. Um, they may have drawn the money out of their account before the due date. But the Chase State doesn't send us an electronic funds transfer. They send us the, the payments by check in the mail. So between the amount of time taken by Chase Bank to put them in the mail and the post office, uh, we've had four or five all Chase Bank customers that came in late, and this is the another one. So I assume uh, it's only penalty is only five dollars and twenty seven cents, but I assume the town board doesn't want to. Yeah. All right. Very good. We'll send them a uh, memo Thursday. Marcy back. <clears throat> All 
Uh, nothing waiver the rule. Mm -hmm. uh, any public comments or concerns before we go into executive session? Anybody online? Public concerns before we go on executive session? Okay, tonight we have an executive session to discuss, discuss and collect the negotiations pursuant to Article 14 of the Civil Service Law and also discuss the medical, financial, credit, or employment history of a particular person or corporation or matters leading the deployment, employment, promotion, demotion, discipline, suspension, dismissal, or removal of a particular person or corporation. Can I have a motion, please? So, uh, motion by my mind. Second by me. All in favor? Aye. 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 Probably 45 minutes or so. so. We thank you for your attendance. Oh, you anything down there to sign? Yep. Go down. <clears throat> the uh, conference room. Give me a key. Yeah. Give me a key.